Yeah, what well, does come into your mind with fish? For me, it comes with delicious word. Uh, the taste and texture of this one will vary widely depending on spe uh, species. Not only tasty, but nutritional standards have shown positive long-term um, trends for consuming fish. Like yes, Indonesia is blessed with 6 million square kilometers of ocean territory. Indonesia is considered the world's eighth most fish-dependent country, with fish contributing 52% of all animal-based protein in the Indonesian diet, while above the global average of 16%. And let's check on how many fish Indonesian consume per capita through the next graphic. This is fish consumption per capita by Indonesians in 2014 to 2020. As you can see, the trend of fish consumption in Indonesia keeps on increasing. In 2017, as much as 47.12 uh, kilogram per capita. And then uh, in 2020, it is projected that Indonesian people will consume as much as 56.39 kilogram per capita. Even Indonesia consumes in large amount, but other neighbor countries consume larger portion. For example, Malaysia that consumes fish by 70 kg per year, Singapore by 80 kg per year, and mostly Japan by 100 kg per year. Director General for Strengthening the Competitiveness of Marine and Fisheries Products, Agus Suherman, stated that Ministry is trying to improve fish consumption more to community. Fish protein is believed to be a solution in handling the problem of nutrition in some Indonesian people. As there are many ways to consume fish, fish commodity that is consumed by Indonesian is divided into some categories. So let's check the data and the, we're going to see what kind of um, fish product that had been consumed by Indonesian people. The first one of course can fish as much as 19%, fresh fish 76% and uh, stock fish as much as 15%. And as I mentioned to you before, Indonesia is blessed with 6 million square kilometers of ocean territory. Therefore, the percentage goes higher to fresh fish, providing affordable and delicious meals. With a large consumption per year, Indonesia's fishery industry make a large contribution to its economy too. Therefore, I would like to explain to you fisheries contributed to export earnings. This is Indonesia's fishery export earnings in trillion rupiah in 2018 as much as 66.4 trillion rupiah. In 2019, Indonesia's fishery uh, export contributed to the, to the nation economy as much as 73.6 trillion rupiah. And in 2020, it is projected to reach 84.5 trillion rupiah. Marine fisheries and aquaculture are expected to play an increasingly important role in the economic development. The Indonesian fisheries sector grew rapidly throughout 2015 under the steam of the Jokowi government's renewed focus on Indonesia's competitiveness or competitive advantages within maritime related sectors. Also, Indonesia scores among the top five of fishery and aquaculture producers in the world and let's check the effect through the next data. This is Indonesia's fish production in 2015 at much as 12.2 uh, million tons and uh, the number was decreased in 2016 as much as 11.9 million tons but the number or the trend keeps on increasing from 2017 to 2019 from 12.4 million tons to 25.32 million tons in 2019 and the ministry has made important strides in boosting Indonesia's fishery sector both in the upstream and downstream industry. This is evident that the increase in the capture fishery production to 25.32 million tons until 2019. This of course makes Indonesia as the world's second largest capture fishery producer after China and the fourth largest aquaculture producer in the world. Many productions will be followed by many export, correct? And therefore, Indonesia exports its fish production worldwide. Indonesian export of fish products have remained stable over the last five years. So what are the export destination of Indonesia's fisheries products? Let's see the next data. The first one is United States of America, second one or second country as the um, export market destination for Indonesia fishery, uh, China, and the third one is Japan, the fourth one Malaysia, Taiwan at number five, and Singapore at number six. 
And better yet, Indonesia has the opportunity to increase exports of fishery products in the United States market. In line with the escalation of the U.S. and China trade war, some types of commodities that have the potential to increase export to the U.S. are tilapia and tuna. However, globally, Indonesian tuna fisheries are among the largest and most productive worldwide. And with its shrimp sector, Indonesia is among the top three export nations in the world. Indonesian fisheries indeed are expected to play an increasingly important role in the economic development and food security. We hope nothing but the best for Indonesian fisheries. Stay tuned on Market Headlines because we will be right back after the break.